Julie is married to a powerful family which built its wealth through corrupt practices, the looting of KPLC is the most cited example. Julie's father-in-law Samuel G. Shuru is among individuals who stole millions of shillings from Kenya Power and Lighting Company, KPLC. Julie's father-in-law Samuel ran an intricate web of corruption and theft when he was the managing director of Kenya Power. Julie's father-in-law Samuel became wealthy with money siphoned from Kenya Power, so rich did he become that at some point he was referred to as Mr. Moneybags. Julie's father-in-law Samuel and former finance minister Chris Okamo were implicated in a massive corruption scandal in Kenya Power. The two diverted more than foreign companies which had been given tenders by Kenya Power to tax haven of Jersey. Part of the hidden loot was for a loan for a non-existent USO Neuro Hydro Power plant which Kenyans repaid until 2020. USO Neuro Dam scandal prompted the UK government to start investigating G. Shuru and Okamo after the matter was raised at the House of Commons in 2001. Julie's father-in-law Samuel and Okamo lost the money they stashed in Jersey Island after authorities there confiscated it in February 2016. The Royal Court of Jersey ordered the seizure of about KSH 520 million in the offshore account belonging to Windward Trading Ltd after the company pleaded guilty to four counts of money laundering. Kenya and Jersey signed an agreement on March 3, 2017 to pave way for the return of more than KSH 380 million G Shuru stashed in Jersey. The Attorney General of Jersey requested the extradition of G. Shuru and Okamo to Jersey Island to face money laundering charges but up to date Kenya is yet to hand over the two thieves. Julie G. Shuru's is always dragged into her father-in-law's woes as critics claim she together with her husband Anthony G. Shuru are beneficiaries of KPLC looting. Anthony G. Shuru is passionate about science, agriculture, entrepreneurship, and economic development. As such, he has made investments in these fields. Julie and Anthony have big stakes in the sports betting company Mshiza, critics argue the betting firm was used to clean loot from KPLC. The couple also own two companies Arimus Media Limited and Production House focused on quality African content, and Mimi Holdings Ltd a fashion retail business. Anthony and Julie earn millions from their business ventures, they built a palatial home in 2013.